In this demonstration, we will look at how we can add a self-signed TLS SSL certificate to our web server. The self-signed certificate doesn't have all the security properties of a certificate signed by a, a certificate authority. However, it provides a great opportunity to test your HTTPS secure connections. And it also provides some security validating the web server and it is often used for testing HTTPS web services. First, go to your start menu, click server manager. And on this server, we have already installed IIS, the internet information services. So you should have the option called internet information services manager. If you would like to know how to install IIS, there's a video that I have already created and posted you can check that out. On the IIS manager, the left hand pane, you will see your server name. Expand that server name menu and the expand the site folder and you should see your website that you have created in the uh, previously. So I have used the default website configuration to create this. So that's what you see here. If you go to SSL settings, you cannot change the settings here because as of now, there are no SSL certificates available on this website. So the first thing we need to do, we need to go to the main server from the left hand side and click on the option called server certificates. On the server certificate on the right hand side, you'll see an option called create self signed certificate. Click on that link and it will open up this create self-signed certificate window. For the certificate name, put a name that is meaningful. In my case, I'm gonna say www.web, just so that easy for me to find out, find where the certificate is. And on the certificate store, select the option called web hosting. Then click OK. Now you have a self-signed certificate with a certificate hash on your server. Go back to your, your HTTP site and go to SSL settings and you still can't add anything. And you may wonder why you cannot change any settings here. That because of we need to change the binding for this website. This website is currently binded to, to HTTP port 80 so we have to create the 443 SSL TLS binding to this site. To do that, on the right hand side, you will see the option called bindings. Click on that link and it will open the site binding window. Click add from the drop down menu, select the type as HTTP, HTTPS and leave the port as 443 and leave these options blank for now. And then under SSL certificate, select the one you just created. In my case, www-web and click OK and then close. Now, if you go to SSL settings, you can see you can change the configurations in here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna select require SSL and we're gonna put client certificate, you can just put ignore for now. On the right hand side, under actions, click apply. And now if you go and open your Internet Explorer, and if you go HTTPS colon double slash, and if you go localhost and press enter, you'll get a security message. And then you can say click OK and you will get this message saying that the site is not secure. This is because this is a self-signed certificate. It doesn't have a certificate authority associated with it. Simply click more information and click go to the web page. And on the warning side, just say okay. Now you have entered your website. You can also access this website using the IP address uh, for this website, a web server. 
So if you go to your main server, uh, you will see the IP address that you have for your server. In my case, it's 192.168.1.3. So if I go HTTPS slash and 192. Dot, uh, close. And if I go 192.168.1.3, and it will get you to the same site. As you can see, you can actually access this website either through the local host name or the IP address. You can see the certificate is there, even though it has a certificate error message on both local host and the IP address. However, if you click on the certificate error, and if you click view certificate, you can see the certificate is valid and it is issued to the server. And under details, it shows the signature is in SHA-256 encryption. The reason why this certificate comes back with an error message is that this certificate is a self-signed certificate and does not have a certificate authority. However, this is a very useful tool to administer HTTPS sites uh, in lab environment and to test the validity of your web server. And that's everything and have a nice day.